Welcome everybody into this new tutorial. So I want to show you how you can create your own digital planner and sell that into Etsy.com application. So as you can see guys, I'm already into Etsy.com. So the first thing I want to do is to have already an account. If you don't have that already, you can go into the sign in section. Let's go into this uh, option that says register that's in here. So once I click, he's going to be asking me for an email, first name and passcode. Or you can just continue with your Google account if you want to, so they can do that a little bit more uh, easier. So I'm just going to choose my account here real quick. So now that I'm here into Etsy.com with my uh, profile here, what I want to do is to click once again into my profile and go into the sale on Etsy. Now it says get started, millions of shoppers can wait. Now what I want to do is to select the option that says get started in order to continue. Now it's going to be asking me for the shop language, the shop country, and the currency that I'm working here into my country. So depending on the information that you have in your country, you select that option. So let's say, for example, uh, in my case, that would be English and Mexico and Mexican peso. You can choose uh, whatever option you want to, but in my case, I will leave it like that. Now it's going to be asking me which of these best describes you. So I sell part time. So that depends up to you guys. You can go into other if you want to. Or I sell part time, and that's how I liked it. So let me go into uh, save and continue. Now it says name your shop if you want to shop here your Etsy. All right. So let's say I'm okay with this name of my shop. So I want to go into save and continue. And now it says create a listing here so we can uh, start to add some photos and details about your item here fill out what you can do for now you'll be able to edit this later now if you want to uh, just go ahead and choose all your listings you can go ahead uh, maybe you can go into the preview conversion and all that so what we want to do is to create our digital planner and the very easiest way and very free way that we can do that is with this application called Canva.com. Whether you have a pro account or not, you can still do that for free. So all I want to do is to log in or to sign up just in case that you don't have an account. Go into, again, once again, I'm going to select my account on Google. So it's going to be more uh, easier to create my account. So as you can see now, we are on the main page from Canva.com. This is what are you going to design here? So what you guys want to do is do whether you want to start from a template or you can start from scratch. So let's say I want to go with the A4 document here. Just create blank. Mm -hmm. All right. So that we now start from scratch. What you guys want to do, if you want to, you can go from the scratch in here. As you can see, there are templates. So let's say I want to look for a planner and it's going to be uh, a lot of planners that we can choose if you want to start with uh, on a template here. So let's say, for example, I want to select the first one. And as you can see, there are a bunch of things that we can use for our planner. But let's say I want to start from scratch. So what I want to do is to drag here uh, all the items that are in here into my background and just delete that it's really really simple guys i can delete that as well or just simple click into uh comment uh, c or Control c so what i want to do is to click on the blank space and as you can see this is the uh, background color where i can select it and what i want to do is to choose a color that i want to background let's say i want to see this color here and then let's go into the elements section so now in here, let's say I want to look for uh, some patterns here. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down. This is like the part when you can be creative, guys. So let's say I want to, I don't know, maybe use this like this. I can select this item here. And what I want to do is to right click or select this transparency. So I can do something like this 40%. And then what I want to do is to go into the text section. And as you can see, there are a bunch of fonts combination that we can use in order for making this a little bit more creative. And let's say I want to use the first one. It's right here. It says coffee, please. Just if I make one click, it's going to be imported already into my uh, design here. So let's say I want to put in here digital planner. So as you can see, it doesn't fit. 
So what I want to do is to, let's say, I want to make this a little bit more smaller. So if you want, you can go in, into the element section. And as I just told you guys, you can be creative here. Uh, let's say I want to put this um, in here. So it's going to be uh, looking a little bit more different. Right. So now what I want to do is to create a new page. Let's say, for example, uh, I'm going to choose two pages here. So I'm going to show you how you can make this dynamic because this is a digital planner after all. So as you can see, we're still into the element section, right? So let's say I want to choose, for example, this shape. I'm going to go in up. If you want to copy and paste it, go into country C, country B, and we can just move that in there. And let's say I want to select a new text from, if you want to make it from scratch, that's totally okay. So you just need to scroll up. I'm going to go into Monday, for example. I'm going to put this right in here. I'm going to copy paste so I can make the same font. And I'm going to choose this uh, from Monday, Tuesday. So let's say I already finished this. So let's say we finished it. If you want to change the font, you can do that up in here. It says up sans. So once you fill that, let's say I want to select this item and select this other item. So I want to click, uh, right click, and I want to group this all. You can select both of them. So now that they are already grouped, if I click in here and I move, my item is going to be moving. Uh, along with the title, which is right, uh, really great because if I go into the page number two, and for example, I go into Monday, for example, I want to resize this like 50. If you want to make this a little bit more faster, I strongly recommend you guys to just copy and paste the same the sign here, so you can just select here the um, the text, and you just need to. I change that right so let's say I already finished this I want to choose a new element here for my new pages let's say for example I want to use I don't know maybe a hot in here from Tuesday and I want the transparency to be a little more like 30% so the text cannot be not in here what we want to do is to link this uh, items here into the next pages. So we can just click in here. It's going to be redone acting us into the Monday section and Tuesday into the Tuesday page. So what you guys want to do is to click in here. You can go into right click or you can go into the three dots, wherever you want to and look for this icon right here. So it's going to be asking us for which page you want to uh, make this link to. I'm going to go into number two. I'm going to go into ready. And the Tuesday, I want to go again into the uh, link section and the number three. I'm going to go into ready. And now we just finished this. I want to select here the option that says share. Okay, so now we have our planner already downloaded. Let's let's click into the uh, PDF file. I'm gonna go into double click just to make sure this actually works. So as you can see, here's my digital planner. I'm gonna do this. Uh, see this a little bit more uh, zooming here. So I'm gonna click into Monday, and as you can see, as simple as that. Let's say if I want to click into Tuesday, it's gonna be sending me to Tuesday. So our item is already. Uh, listed so we can go back into Etsy and what you guys want to do is to add a photo if you want to add a photo of the design so let's say for example that you want to choose the page number one I'm going to go into share and I want to uh, download this as a PNG only the first page and it says great job on your first listing so as you can see this is the digital planner for your week as you can see uh, I can select here my gig into Etsy and I can edit my first listing if, if I want to. So there you have it guys, it wasn't that hard. You can use Etsy as much as you want to. You can totally go into the Canva section and the amazing option here into Canva is that they have a lot of templates. You can do actually, uh, there are a lot of things you can do banners for YouTube, you can do Instagram stories, you can do for Twitter, from Facebook, Snapchat. There are tons of things that you can do here into Canva and, and as we just did, you, you can sell your work for a free software. So let me know if you have any questions guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about the Etsy 
and or the Canva application. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.